You collect comics. You want to keep those comics clean and protected well in storage. You've got bags and boards. Lots of them. But if you have to buy these, where is your money best spent? I've gone ahead and bought a bunch of the most popular bag and board combos to pit them head to head so that I can decide what I should spend my money on. Right now, I buy my bags and boards at my LCS, but I don't know if that's really the best option for me. I will have all the links posted below for these bags and boards. I bought most of them as combos on Amazon or online. These are regularly sold together when I go looking, so it seems only natural to test them in that way. I wanted to look at the overall quality. Are the bags well built? Quality materials? Are the boards cut evenly and made with some buffer? Also, I wanted to check the presentation of them. How well do these combos fit together? And also, is there anything obstructing the clarity or altering the perception of the comic? So, let's start this off with the big brand in the room, BCW. They are the big name here, the most ubiquitous, I would say. You can get BCW pretty much anywhere that you get your comics or supplies. I ordered mine from Amazon, and they came as a package. I have to say, I was a little disappointed. Overall, these are the standard for a reason. The bags are well manufactured, with good clarity, they feel pretty good in your hand, and the comic slides in nicely. They also fit the comics really well. But mine arrived a little bit, I don't know, uh, dirty is the word, I guess. The bags on the outside of the bundle seemed to be dirty, while the inner more bags were untouched. I don't know what caused it, but it was certainly a letdown. That may just be bad luck on my behalf, so I can say these are the standard for a lot of people for a reason. Next, I want to look at a few of the Amazon specials. The first one is Big Fudge. I don't know where else these are found, I've never seen them before, but I did buy them on Amazon as a package of bags and boards. Now, you would think the fact that these are made by the same company and sold as a set would mean that they fit like a glove. Instead, they fit like a pair of worn out, baggy underwear from before you hit the gym for your New Year's resolution. The comics sit in here pretty loosely and slide around. Usually, current bags fit snugly and present the comics in a neat, tidy way, but not here. It also seems as though the boards are cut a little too narrow and are also not uniform. There's a lot of difference across the package in height and width, and the cut on the edges isn't very clean at all. As for the bags, they're a bit thicker than the rest at 3 mil instead of the standard 2 mil. You might assume that this is a good thing, however, I would say the 3 mil is too thick. I also believe that this is the older style polypropylene material. All right, so let's take a pause for just one second to understand a bit about the manufacture of bags and boards and what to expect. Older bags are also made of polypropylene in most cases, which is a plastic used a lot in archiving. However, many archiving plastics are now using an improved polypropylene signified as OPP. This is a type of polypropylene manufacturer that offers more flexibility and clarity than the older manufacturing process. As for boards, most boards are made using a buffer that helps neutralize the natural acidity of paper and slow degradation over time. If you're using OPP bags and boards with a good buffer, the bags will last roughly 100 plus years with only replacing the boards every so often. Not too bad for archiving your collection. So, why do I think Big Fudge is the older material? It just feels like the old bags that we used in the 80s and into the 90s. That is to say, it feels both thick and cheap in my hands. I do like how they've cut the flap in the edges where they sometimes get bent up in a bin. It also makes them easier to open. But the bags themselves feel horrible in my opinion. There is also a noticeable change to the colors of the comic when they're inside. It's blocking a lot of color with its murky plastic. So, what about Titan Shield? Also a brand I bought off of Amazon. These are better. These are more like standard bags than the Big Fudge brand, however, also not my favorite. They have a bit of flashing along the corners and edges sometimes. They do fit okay. I paired them with these boards because they weren't sold in a combo. They're cheaper than some of the other bags, so that is something to consider. They feel okay in the hand. Books slide in and out without any drag. 
I would say that these are middle of the pack type of bag. Not likely to get into my collection unless I'm desperate. Ultra Pro is what I normally get from my LCS, and I find them to be completely acceptable. I did make an error buying a pack for this test, so I've pulled a bag from my stash to use. They're essentially the same, but silver sized to fit the boards I ordered by mistake. The boards themselves are cut well. No problems, no burrs, no variation in cuts. They of course are made with a buffer, so they will do the job. The bags feel like you want them to in your hand. They crinkle as they should and comics slide in nicely with no problem. These are pretty clear and don't obstruct anything. I've never had a problem with these bags and boards. The last set here is a name brand we all recognize maybe equal to BCW. Comic Pro and the Vintage Boards brand. Comic Pro is basically what Diamond distributes around the country. For the boards, they're just boards, no better, no worse. Though my package came with some serious warping. Aside from this test, these are going right back into return and not into my collection. I don't need my comics following a bend for no reason. I would say these are the most clear. In hand, it's actually noticeable how clear these are compared to the others. The claim of crystal clarity that often comes with bags is only applicable to these bags at the group. They are, however, the most expensive combo in the group, by a pretty sizable dollar amount as well. For the bags, it's worth it. For the boards, I'd say buy something else. You get the same quality from BCW or Comicare. Where does that leave us? If you're okay with spending the money, I would mix and match. Comic Pro bags and the BCW or Comic Care boards. If you want a budget friendly option, I'll be sticking with my Ultra Pro and Comic Care boards as that's what I can easily get from my LCS. The only definitive thing I can say is stay away from big fudge. There is a lot of variation in collecting sometimes, so I know it can be helpful to have these types of reviews or recommendations. So make sure you check out this playlist of videos here where I talk about the comparison between the grading companies. It was a long road, and although some things are constantly changing, <coughs> customer service, the comparison is still useful and can help you make an informed decision.